Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and a user asked for a Tinkercad Jeep, so let's get cracking. So, my friends, this Jeep is going to use the code block seat I created that we can put in any vehicle. If you haven't made the code block seat, it will be in the links up above. Once you've got that done, you can come back and continue this video. The first step for us, of course, my friends, is to hit create new design. Once we're in Tinkercad, I'm going to rename it Jeep, and I'm going to put my initials after it. That way we can track it down, and friends, we are going to build with a cube. When you bring the cube out, I would like you to click on its corners, and I want you to type 120, and I want you to type 80. And let's click on the height one. I want you to make it size 30. We want to give it a radius of 2 so the edges are rounded. I'm going to make mine a fun green color because it reminds me of one my father had when I was a kid. If you want to make your own custom version, that's where it gets extra fun. Friends, it is time to add some sweet wheel wells. We're going to do that with the round roof. When you bring it out, make sure you hold shift and stretch it a little bit. And then we're going to type the number 35 and press enter. You'll notice that it snaps to all of those distances as 35. We're going to change this distance to 10. When we take this shape and select a line, we want to click on the green one to make it the master. And we want to come to the edge and to the front. And then we want to click just the blue one and make it a hole. This next trick, friends, is pretty cool. If you hold shift and nudge, instead of doing one millimeter, it'll do a super nudge, which is 10 millimeters. That instantly moves it in as far as I want for the wheel. Friends, let's do control D. And let's just nudge this with super nudge towards the back. Let's select both of them. Click a line. Once again, pick the green one as the master. And if you say back edge, it'll be lined up perfect. Hold down shift one click and boom, it is in the right spot. Let's hold down shift and click both of those. And then I want you to group them. And then we're gonna do control D and we wanna drop it to this side. So if we put the work plane right here and then press the letter D, check it out, both sides. We just need to move this one in. I'm gonna put the work plane back down to the ground. And friends, if we do shift nudge, it lines up exactly where we want those wheel wells. Select all of that and group it, and the body of your Jeep has sweet wheel wells. Let's go find some sweet wheels. There are some in the shape library. When you get here, make sure you switch to vehicles and then bring out the all-terrain wheel. Notice it's not aimed correctly, so what we're gonna do is look at it from a corner. That lets us see this rotation handle and if you click on this arrow and stay close to the shape, it snaps easily to the direction that we want. I'm going to drop it back to this wall by clicking work plane and connecting it there. And when you hit letter D, it sinks in. Now I can hold down shift and shrink it till it really fits. When it's close, I'm going to do a shift nudge to move it down. I'm going to put the work plane back on the ground. And then I'm going to use control down to nudge it to the height I want. I like that right there. I'm going to click on that one and do control D and now I can shift nudge it back to this spot. And then when I get close, I can do single nudges to get it perfect. I'm going to take those two tires and select them by holding shift. And then I'm going to group them. And then I want to move to the other side and hit the work plane. And now if I click on those tires, notice I did it from underneath, and do Control D and D, it drops them right into place. I'm going to put the work plane back to the ground, and then I'm going to hit Control A to select all. Notice it says three shapes, and if I hit D to drop, it brings the entire Jeep body up to the work plane. Let's real quickly add a grill to this. I'm going to put the work plane on the very front of it. I'm going to go back to basic shapes and I'm going to bring out a whole cylinder. When it comes out, I am going to squish it so that on this side it says four and I'm going to keep the height the way it was. I'm going to select them all and hit a line and I want to choose middle and middle. I'm going to do control D, nudge till there's a gap and then I'm going to do control D again and again and again until I have seven of them. When I've got the seven, I'm gonna look at it from the top corner and right and make sure that I've only got the holes selected. 
and I'm going to group them. When they finish grouping, I'm going to put the work plane back to the ground, and I'm going to select both that new part I created and the green body. Now you may notice that took a long time to group. We're going to adjust that in a minute so it's not so slow. We want to right now though, select them both, click the middle, and make sure they're centered. When we let go, I'm going to ungroup those because I really didn't need them grouped. I just wanted them centered. And then I'm going to select them again and I'm going to nudge them in with the arrow keys. One, two, three clicks. And then I'm going to make sure I select these by just touching the top. That way I don't group the wheels and we can cut in the sweet grill on my Jeep. I'm going to add headlights real quick. Once again with the work plane, I'm going to make my headlights with the box. You can use whatever you want. I'm going to shrink them, arrange them, make them yellow, and then I'm also going to round them with that too. And I'm going to shrink them to the size I want. I'm going to say three, but then I'm going to do control down arrow to sink them in one millimeter. I'm going to click on this one and do control D and I'm going to shift nudge it to the other side. Once again, to align these, I'm going to select those two, group them, and then with them as a group, I can hold down shift, click on the green one, choose a line, make the green one a master, and boom, they are stuck right where I want. Alrighty friends, let's cut out a place to sit. Do your work plane and bring out a whole box, hold down shift and stretch it and type 55 and press enter. We want to line this up with our vehicle, so we're going to hold down shift and select the hole, then the vehicle, click a line, click the vehicle so it's the master, have it centered and all the way to the back. Click just on the hole cube, hold down shift, nudge it forward two centimeters. I want to stretch this back another whole centimeter, so instead of 55 in this distance, let's make it 65 and press enter and then we need to push it down into the vehicle. We're gonna do this a little different. I'm gonna tell you to grab the cone, stretch it crazy far, and then instead of the number that you have there, type negative 25 and press enter. If we hit work plane and put it back on the ground, if we look down below, you can see that lines up really sweet with our Jeep. And now we can select just these two pieces. Notice it says two shapes, and we can hit group, and there is a place to put our seats. Speaking of seats, friends, this is where it's really cool. If you created the shape that you made, the car seat, you can now instantly bring this in and set it in your sweet Jeep. Notice it's not aimed correctly. We've already practiced that. We can rotate it 90 degrees. And then we want two of these. So let's do Control D. And I'm going to do Shift Nudge to get it to the side. And let's see how well they fit. That is pretty sweet. With a few quick nudges, I can get them lined up exactly the way I want. Of course, since we left these with scaling enabled, you can shrink and grow them to whatever size you want. Just remember if you do it to one, hold down shift and do it to the other. I'm gonna put 35 there as well, so now they are a pair. And I can nudge it to the exact spot I want for my vehicle. I'm gonna make the height a little different. I'm gonna just type 40 and press enter. Notice you can change them in just one direction as well. This is where you get to have fun and make it look just the way you want. Alrighty friends, let's add an almost instant roll cage with an amazing tool under the featured shape generators. We need to put the work plane on the side of the vehicle and then when you bring out a bent pipe, it is aimed the correct way. I'm gonna pick my color for my pipe and then friends, we need to change some numbers. I want you to type 5 here and press enter. I want the wall thickness to be 2 and press enter. I need you to make the arc diameter 60 and I need you to make the bend angle 100. I need you to make the lead in 25 and I need you to make the lead out 25. Make sure you press enter after each one of these and then wait patiently for the shape to show up. It does take a couple moments. When the red line finally goes away, we are going to rotate it and have an almost instant roll cage. There you have it. Now we need to hit this rotation angle and I'm going to tell you stay close to the middle 
and friends rotate it right to the 45 degree mark. When we hit work plane and set it back down to the ground, we can now use the arrow key to nudge our roll cage into place. I'm gonna back it up this way, and then so that this sinks in, I'm just gonna do control down arrow. There you have it, a roll cage in an instant. I'm gonna click on it and hit control D. I'm gonna use shift nudge to move the other one to the other side. I'm gonna get it close to where I want with single clicks. Hold down shift and select both, and I'm gonna group them. And once those two parts group, and now that they are grouped, I'm gonna hold down shift and click the body of our Jeep. Click align, choose the body as the master, and center them so they're perfect. I do want a bar that goes across these. I'm gonna line that bar up with the inside of the vehicle. So notice I'm putting the work plane right here. We're gonna simply go back to basic shapes and find a cylinder. When we bring it out, remember how we did size five. I'm gonna hold shift and shrink this and type the number five for the size. I'm gonna stretch it across so that it touches these other ones. I'm gonna make it the same gray, which I think it was that gray. I'm gonna hold down shift and select these two parts and click a line. I'm gonna make the roll cage the master and I wanna put it in the center and then I wanna put it at the top and I also wanna put it in the middle. Let's put the work plane back on the ground, take a look at it from the front. That, my friends, is pretty darn sweet. I'm gonna real quickly click on that bar and do control D and then I'm gonna do shift nudge to move it forward and then I'm just gonna use the arrow keys now to do single nudges and I'm gonna do control down to drop that into place so it'd be a front piece of a roll cage as well. I think I'll add one to the back just for more strength. Once again control D and then I'm gonna shift nudge to move it back I'm gonna use the control up to raise it up to the exact spot I want. Rotate around and make sure you're happy with what you got. I think I'm gonna take my roll cage and make it all one piece. Friends, I'm gonna select this and I'm going to hide it. I'm gonna select the seats and I'm gonna hide them. And that way I can easily grab just the roll cage and make it one group. Alrighty friends, so let's unhide everything, bring it back and take a look at our sweet Jeep. Friends, there is so much more room for you to play with this. I just want to get you started so you've got a Jeep shape and you can start adding cool things. Stick out fenders, add a steering wheel, go back to the characters and bring in some people. There's so much you can do to make this so much more incredible. Friends, of course, if you do make something incredible, it would be awesome if you took time to share it with me. It only takes a moment to reach up, click collaborate, generate a link, copy that link and share it with me. You can always find me at Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. I am HL Mod Tech on all three. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Friends, of course, you can also track me down at hlmodtech.com. Don't forget, if you do visit, there is a messaging app you can click. You can send me a message almost instantly. I want to send a quick shout out as well to Tartarus. Thank you so much for this idea. Totally fun. And I always appreciate comments that give me ideas for what to do next. Lastly, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.